Love that opening music. Something about this reminds me of Fantasy Island. This is Wii Sports Resort for the Nintendo Wii. A much larger collection of sports games than the original Wii Sports Disc, optimized for use with the Wii Motion Plus for your Wii controller. Where should we begin? Let's pick my favorite, bowling. Wait a second, wasn't bowling on the first game? Yes, yes it was. But this time you have a fancier shirt. As a fan of the original Wii Sports game, let me tell you I feel a slight bit of disappointment with this only because the best two games originally were bowling and golf, and the best two games on this disc, Wii Sports Resort, are bowling and golf. You get more bowling and more golf, but they have not surpassed the brilliance of their original concept. However, this game does have more for two players, so if you're buying this for your kids or your friends, or if you play with a lot of your friends, Wii Sports Resort gives you more competitiveness in your living room so that you can try to punch each other with the Wii remotes when you're sword fighting. Many of the sports give you variants in how you play the sport. For instance, here is a look at the spin control mode for bowling. There's also a 100 pin bowling challenge. This stuff is kind of neat. I'm not sure if this is the reason to run out and pick up Wii Sports Resort, especially if you already have the original one. Let's take a look at some of the other sports on here, starting with sword fighting. All of the fun of sword fighting without any of the hassle of decapitation or poking out eyeballs. This reminds me of American gladiators played with fun noodles. Those really tall, skinny Nerf foam things. While you can block and definitely swing your Wii remote like a sword, in the end you end up just flinging your Wii remote back and forth as fast as you can, or just physically pushing and hitting the person next to you and then swinging, this is an example of one of those games that's entertaining with two players, but kind of boring as a single player game. Make sure your Wiimotes are strapped onto your wrists for this one. Especially parents, watch your kids. That Wii controller can go right through the TV in this game easily. It would have been better had the water been lava. Or acid. Or filled with man-eating reptile mutant shark robot things with laser beams on their heads. Here's a look at table tennis. This one's not bad, but ev even with the Wii Motion Plus, that definitely does a better job of telling where your Wii controller is pointing. This one's a bit clumsy if you've actually played table tennis or ping pong, because your paddle doesn't do exactly what you think it is at times. It's kind of cool in that you can put spin on the ball and definitely do a little more than you might expect from a video game ping pong game. So this one's alright. It's not bad. Kind of fun single player. Definitely fun with two players. But don't expect anything that's actually going to replicate or replace real table tennis. What a cute dog. I tried to play frisbee with my dog and when I threw the frisbee at her it just hit her in the face, bounced off her nose and she looked dejected. In this game the dog actually wants to play frisbee. My dog just wants to chase things like rabbits, squirrels, and weak-minded people. I've played a lot of frisbee, so I had a hard time just figuring out how to throw the Wii controller frisbee. The imaginary frisbee. You have a somewhat catchy game here where you try to throw the frisbee into a certain spot on screen, occasionally trying to hit a balloon as a target or something, and the dog catches it. It's not bad. They also give you frisbee golf. I prefer the frisbee golf in Tiger Woods 10. They do a much better job with it than here for some reason. It's hard to, it's hard to put a finger on why. This one's just way too touchy. When you play actual frisbee or frisbee golf and really want to launch your shot a long distance, you put a massive amount of spin on that frisbee and overswing your arm. They just don't do that here, I'm, I'm not even sure how they could. But if you've never played real frisbee or frisbee golf or your kids haven't spent that much time playing it, they'll figure out how to play this game. And like everything else on Wii Sports Resort, this is technically solid, very well made, and has the production value that you would expect from a Nintendo produced game. Nice courses, challenging game, fun to play with friends, not so much fun if you play real frisbee golf. I've probably told this story before, but the best part of frisbee golf is playing on a college campus or something, having your frisbees come down and hit cars, setting off the car alarms, 
it makes for a more exciting game. Here's Wakeboarding, which is one of the best looking games on Wii Sports Resort, giving the whole resort feel. You jump off the waves, it does tricks for you, and then you try to land. Big deal, this gets boring after about three games. Let's move on to one of my favorites on this disc. In fact, my third favorite game, Archery. Seven. Now here's a game that has the same kind of brilliance that you'll find in Wii Sports Bowling and Wii Sports Golf. Archery, it, it works so well with this. Eight. This game made me feel like I was in Rambo 3. You hold the Wii Mote out with one hand and then pull back the string or the virtual string using the nunchuck, launching your explosive tipped arrow at the enemy to blow up their helicopter. Seven. This is one that you can play over and over again by yourself, really getting into the gameplay. The distance and the wind make a huge difference in where you aim and how you fire your shots. I really enjoyed the archery. They did a nice job with this. I feel like a lot of the other games on here are just padding for Wii Sports Bowling, Golf, and Archery. In part two, I'll review the golf and the new golf courses, as well as how it works with Wii Motion Plus a little bit differently. Nine. And cover the rest of the games on Wii Sports Resort. See you back here in part two.